barbecue food for you. Today we're going to be doing a reverse sear on this big strip loin steak using the big green egg and following Craig Tabor's post in the forum section at barbecuefoodforyou.com. Let's get started. To get the steak prepped, brush on a little bit of oil. Then we're going to give it a coating of Cluck and Squeal Beef Specific Rub. Now this stuff's delicious. It's not going to overpower the flavor of the meat, but use any type of rub that you love to taste. Just pat it into the steak. Go around, give it a good coating on all sides. Steak is all prepped and ready with that cluck and squeal rub. Let's go get the egg fired up. To cook the steak we're going to be using Maple Leaf 100% hardwood lump charcoal. This stuff tastes great with beef. Fill the egg up about halfway with fresh, unused charcoal. Once you got the egg started, throw your plate setter on. To keep a good eye on the temperature, we're going to be using a Maverick Ready Check ET732. We got our grill probe already set up, and the food probe is going to go in the steak once we get it on. Shut the lid. Just before we get the steak on, we're going to add a Mojo Brick Competition Blend Mini Cube for a little bit of smoke. Place it right on the coals. The egg sitting just over 250 degrees. Let's get the steak on. Place it right in the middle. Take your meat probe, stick it right in the middle of the steak to keep a good eye on the internal temperature. And just shut the lid. So just some mushrooms. 740, this should take around 30 to 40 minutes to reach an internal temp of 115. After 48 minutes, the Maverick temp probes reading at 120. This thing usually reads a little bit higher, so we're going to go in, double check our temperatures with a thermopen. One fifteen on the money. Now remove your temp probe and your grill probe. With the high heat, it will melt the wires. Take your steak, place it on a plate, and just lightly cover it with some tin foil. Now it's time to get the egg really fired up. Start by removing your grate and taking the plate setter out. Open the bottom and top vent and get it fired up. With the egg fired up to around 650 degrees, it's time to sear the steak. Now I'm going to sear it for around 30 seconds on each side and then check the temperatures. Thirty seconds, give it a flip. Look at that. Another thirty seconds, give it a flip, get that nice cross hatch. Thirty seconds, another flip. Two minutes in, I like to finish it off by browning up that fat. Take it off, check the temperatures. Go in with your thermopen, check the temps, looking for around 130. Remember, you can always put the steak back on. Once it's overcooked, you're screwed. I'm gonna throw it back on for another 30 seconds on each side. Toss it back on. Give it another 30 seconds on each side. 30 seconds in, give it a flip. Looking good. Another minute's done, take it off, check your temperatures again. Steak's been resting for a couple minutes while we moved everything inside. We'll go in, check the internal temp again. One twenty-nine. Go over to the other side here. 132 and right in the middle 132 perfect time to cut it right down the middle and take a peek and see how it looks looking good 
Give that another minute or so, the red will start to come out of the meat. Reverse seared steak just off the big green egg and looking great. To find Craig's write up, I'll post a link in the description box below. It's easy to do. Barbecue food for you. Give it a try. Mmm.